What's up, my dudes? Val here, and today I'm going to be talking Should You Summon for Venti? Now, if the gameplay looks a little weird, if you pay attention to the top right, I'm sure you'll see that go crazy because I've been having internet issues all morning. Literally hopped off Master Bill to hop on a Genshin and immediately the internet crashed, so I'm on my backup network, which isn't nearly as good, but I do want to talk to you about Venti and Should You Summon for him, and actually, honestly, why I think you shouldn't summon for Venti now. Now I get it. A lot of people are going to be really upset because Venti is genuinely a good unit. With Venti on your team, you can do really silly things, such as just pop right into E here, go ahead and hit Venti's ult, then immediately start, and now you've won the domain. Now you can AFK and you have cleared the domain. You don't have to play the game anymore, you don't have to do anything. Venti has won you this already, because that's how Venti works. When Vinti works, he's borderline one of the most broken units in the game because he just trivializes the gameplay to the point where you're not playing the game. You're AFKing and watching things die. Vinti is genuinely that broken. At least I think we can all agree on that much. But there's one little issue with Vinti. You see, Vinti, he can't suck up large bosses. If I'm far enough away and I go in and I hit the triangle, you can see he's not getting hit by it. He's not getting sucked into it. Venti can't suck up large bosses at all. Well, not bosses only, but any large monster Venti can't suck up. You have to know which can be and can't be sucked up by Venti. So, why is this significant? Well, this really matters because in current Abyss, it's a lot of boss monsters in Floor 12, which is where your unit selection matters. Um, if you already have Venti, then he's a fantastic get to get. He makes Floor 11 and below trivial. It's just you blast through them so easily with Venti and it makes them irreplaceable part of the team in that one. But if I'm taking solely floor 12 into account, I don't think you should summon for Venti because lately they have been, or at least they've shown, to not want Venti to be usable in floor 12, which in my opinion is the only floor that matters. I don't think once you have a very strong account, you're really struggling at floor 11 and below, um, especially if you're a national. National has such wide AoE and it just runs through everything. I don't think you're really struggling. But in the current state of Floor 12, then, yeah, no, I don't think Venti is a good get if you're trying to clear Abyss. And this Abyss is the easiest it's been, so <laughs> if you can't clear this Abyss, and I really think uh, if you're wanting to clear Abyss, if that's your goal, then Venti isn't really the choice for you. While Venti is fantastic. Now, all that being said, full transparency, if Abyss reverts to what it was to, and Floor 12 gets lots of monsters in it again that can be picked up by Venti, he becomes one of the most broken units in the game. He becomes insane because he just trivializes everything, lets you set up big wombo combo slants for one shots, and he just makes everything an absolute joke. I'm basing this video and this statement purely off the current abyss. I have to drive that point home because people like to always misquote what I say. So I have to drive that point home that this is based off the current abyss. But if the abyss changes, holy hell is this character broken as all hell. And I highly recommend getting him for then. But those are your primos. Those are That's your decision. I gave both sides of the argument of why you should and should not summon for him. In my opinion, with Abyss the way it is right now, I have to stress that because it could change and it could revert back to the way it used to be. Uh, Venti is a skip. But if Abyss changes, you really want this guy on your team. So at the same time, if you really, really, if you think the Abyss is going to change and you know, you want that then by all means get him, but I haven't been able to use Venti in Floor 12 for approximately the last 3-4 months now, so if they're going to actually swap it back to make Venti stronger again in it, then I have no idea. Odds are they will for his banner, but then just keep in mind, if they swap Abyss, he goes back to just being not useful at all in Floor 12. Anyways, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's do a little trick with Venti real quick. <laughs> this character's so troll.